What is up, my beautiful Lib Librans, Librarians, Libra? How are you? I hope you're doing well. Oh, I just had to get some tea. It's really, uh, it's cold in my apartment. I don't know. I need to get out of here. I live, I live underground basically. Even though it's like 70 degrees outside, it's like, it's cold in here. All right. So, today I'm gonna be doing a general reading for you. Um, this is a general reading and it's also timeless. So it could resonate for you in the future. It could have, a, it, like, it could be something that had already happened or um, it could be something that you're currently going through. So you never know. I just try to, I just like to pull out cards and see what message the universe has for you, all right? So let's get started. If this reading resonates with you, please go ahead and um, like my video and subscribe. That'll really help my channel out. I'm gonna pull an animal spirit card for you because I wanna see what's happening. What is happening with Libra right now? Ooh. Balance, right? And you know, ultimately I'm just telling a story with the cards and if it, you know, take whatever resonates, right? One more time. I like to shuffle a lot, I apologize. Okay, what is going on for Libra universe? Talk to me. How is your day going? Oh. Yes. So you got koala spirit. And look what it says. It says spirit has a plan. Dang, Libra. <clears throat> Whoa, look at this, look at this koala. You see, such a beautiful card. Damn, that koala looks wise. Someone's, yeah, look. It's like you're plotting. Are you plotting, Libra? You planning something? What are we planning? I'm already like getting getting a very like excited energy right now. I need to calm down. Calm down. It's just a koala. <clears throat> Alright. Now for the main spread. And um, if you're curious what, what cards, where to find these cards, I put uh, I'm gonna put um a link to to where to purchase them down below and what cards they are. I'm using the um, Mystical Mondays tarot deck. This I love this tarot deck. It's shiny. I love how like you know how it feels. And look at the illustration. Look at that. Why is the King of Swords here? Hmm. Somebody's thinking. Somebody's trying to be really smart about what they're doing. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Now it doesn't have to be a masculine energy. I mean, it's the it's a King of Swords, so like it is a masculine energy, but it doesn't mean it's male or female. <clears throat> Whew, what am I feeling? What, one more shuffle for Libra. One more shuffle for Libra. All right, let's see what's happening. I wish I could show you more of the table. Oh, oh, hang on. 
I'm about to drop my phone. Sorry. There. I don't know. Did, it, did that do anything? Oh, Jesus. Oh, there we go. Okay. The koala right there. Sorry, guys. We got the koala right there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I feel very excited. I see an, an adventure ha about to take place here. Ten of Swords in Reverse. So what this card is telling me, there's a new beginning. There's a new beginning here. What's this new beginning? Come on, let's keep going. Ooh, so it's the Ace of Wands in reverse. Something with, it's a very cre creative, exciting energy here, but you're kind of, I feel like you're kind of just, you know, it's like with the koala, you're plotting, you're planning, you're thinking about it. You're like, this is a good idea, but I got to think about this some more because <clears throat> Libras, they're all about like making conscious decisions, right? Queen of Pentacles? You got a business idea? You trying to be a boss? Queen of Pentacles. It could be, you know, a baby in the making. Is there a baby in the making? Let's see. But the Queen of Pentacles is more like business related. So she's a, she's a boss. Somebody here has a plan for a new business adventure. Yep, Wheel of Fortune. Strength, finding strength to go after to go after whatever this is and I get the feeling that at one point this was um this this felt out of reach but now I'm I'm feeling that this it's be, it's becoming like you you can like you can practically you know taste it you know that kind of analogy Uh, I gotta drink my tea while it's still hot because that shit gets cold so fast. Okay, let's keep going. What are we at? Eight minutes? Okay. See? What is this? The King of Swords again. Someone's thinking hard. Oh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him right here next to the queen. Someone's thinking hard. T temperance in reverse. Your emotions are out of out of whack. <sighs> you're like, I feel like you're in in and out about this this whatever this um, idea is of yours. This epiphany, I should say. You had a, an epiphany about doing something that you want to do in terms of your career yeah because i'm not getting that this is a love love reading right now <clears throat> right now every now and then sometimes the universe will like set me up and it'll be like a career reading and then all of a sudden it's like let's talk about love <laughs> king of pentacles yeah, you trying to work, you trying to work for your coin. Ooh. You trying to, to provide for your family? I see I see somebody trying to provide for their family and this is an idea that's going to that that you think is going to is going to do that. Ooh. 
because I see there's a different energy here with the King of Pentacles and I see that this is someone that is like a you know it's like a boss I keep saying boss six of swords in reverse the tower in reverse <clears throat> Let me keep going because I need I need more intel. The hermit in reverse. You're being um the hermit is telling in reverse telling me that you're withdrawn. Sun. Whoa, what is this? What is this doing? Abundance. That's what the sun card means is abundance. The eight of pentacles. The two of pentacles. I see I see that you're trying to like work on your skills or if this could be a new like career move, a new um, opportunity in terms of in terms of like where you want to go with with your skills is my table crooked dang it i'm so sorry guys this is i don't know i normally have it like and i just leave it alone but okay we'll just leave it alone okay i'm getting a very indecisive feeling and i know i know a couple of librans and they're very indecisive <laughs> I'm getting a very indecisive vibe. Like, do I want to take the, do I want to go towards, you know, this that's gonna, that I feel passionate about? Or do I, do I stay at this? Could be uh, that you, you're trying to figure out if you want to stay where you're, wor where you're currently working or you want, or you want to pursue your creative endeavors. Ooh. Which kind of makes sense with the with the whole COVID nineteen, right? Everything has kind of been put on pause, and now you're kind of just you know figuring out what do I want to do with myself. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> but I do see that you're trying to be. I get this feeling that you want to be your own boss. Ace of Swords in reverse. You're not being, you're not vocalizing, you're not, let me keep going, let me just. <sighs> oh, okay. Two of cups. Hmm. Why is the two of cups here? Three of pentacles in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Ten of Wands in reverse. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> That was a whole uh, Rick and Morty thing right there. <laughs> I feel like Rick from Rick and Morty. <clears throat> One more card. <sighs> I 
I get the feeling that I get a little bit of like disappointment here, like yeah, nine of wands in reverse. Hmm. And then you got the two of cups. That's kind of what is sticking out to me right now because I don't know why that card's here. So here's what I'm getting so far. You're kind of wondering if you want to go back to work because I, f I get this feeling that there's there's a fear of going back to work like you don't um, you don't know if that's the right choice to make especially with COVID-19 going on but there's also, there's this other avenue that has become aware to you and you're wondering if you should you should you should go that route but this whole thing has got you feeling like look at this you got the nine of wands in reverse ten of wands in reverse seven of swords in reverse three of pentacles you don't want to work with nobody um the truth is making you feel miserable like You can't you, like things. I get I get a very like anxious energy, like anxious, indecisive. Like I can't like. It's like what am I doing? What? <laughs> uh, let me take another sip of tea. It's like what the fuck. Man, let's clarify. <clears throat> I need I need to clarify for, for this because it's pretty like this energy is heavy. And you know, I like I like this energy of the koala. I feel like this is where you're at right now in terms of your energy. But in your head it's just like Okay, let's clarify, let's clarify. We're gonna go ahead and clarify with the Modern Witch Tarot deck. This one's fine. Three of Swords. Could this be about a relationship? Let's find out. Let's clarify this idea. One more shuffle. Hopefully the modern witch can give us some insight here. Why is this ace of wands here? There's an opportunity, an offer maybe. Someone offered you something. Someone offered you a job. Someone offered you and you feel conflicted with the two of swords in reverse, but it's in reverse, so you're slowly making sense of it. Okay, one more. Ace of Wands. What is this? The world. <gasps> the world in reverse. You you're trying to decide, like, this is weighing down on you because you don't know if you want to travel. I feel like you're gonna have to travel across like the country or something I don't know but I feel like this is a long distance job here like <clears throat> oh yeah I can see it now <gasps> oh my god look this is you you trying to decide whether to take this job and I'm getting masculine energy so you know take it as it resonates but and this is you, this is a, this is a, the person that offered you a job. 
Ooh, or this, I mean, if this is a, if this is a love relationship, I don't, I don't, I'm not picking up that this is, this has like, I see that you're trying to provide for your family and I see that I, I'm getting like crab fishermen, you know, that's what's coming in my head is they got to go out there and catch all this crab and it's dangerous and it's scary and they have to leave their families for months at a time, you know. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting and it's like, it's sad. But let's see, let's keep going. <sighs> what am I even clarifying? Seven of Wands in reverse. What does that mean? You kind of don't want to fight for it. Yeah. Let's clarify the Two of Cups, okay? Ooh. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Look at that. Three of Wands, Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Oh, balancing. <sighs> Libra. So check this out. Okay, you got the Death card in reverse. And I get the sense that these are fears. Everything is fine in reverse. <clears throat> you got the Queen of Pentacles, which this is this is the uh, this is another person so I could I feel like this is a spouse and you got the six of pentacles in reverse you got the three of wands in reverse not being able to see the the path and then you got the two of pentacles you're trying to juggle you're trying to juggle this this opportunity and this is hard. This is weighing on you because you don't want to leave your family. You don't want to leave, you know. That's why the two of cups is here because you want to be with your, you want to be with your spouse, but you don't want to leave them. Mm. Libra, you're so sweet. What is the most likely outcome here? See? <clears throat> so the hair font. This card talks about um, long-term commitment. It talks about being decisive, making a decision. It talks about, uh, it could talk about like religious beliefs. It could be someone that you look up to, someone that you go to for advice. Like the, both of these might come out. Oh shit. <gasps> Libra. I'm, that the eight of cups talks about walking away especially right side up and then the eight of wands talks about you know going the distance I feel you I feel you this is like kind of emotional like I'm getting like I'm getting sad like thinking about it yeah I because I because I see from what this is telling me the most likely outcome is that you're gonna take this job and you're gonna you're gonna have to leave your family behind but 
I, I get the feeling that everything is going to be all right because this this card right here everything is fine showed up and it's going to be tough it's going to be tough it's going to be challenging whatever this whatever this is but i i feel like everything's going to everything's going to be okay Once in reverse, this talks about that one talks about like getting things off your chest, or we could talk about like a burden being lifted. <sighs> I'm not saying that this is a love relationship we're talking about, we're talking about a job here. Let me go ahead and close out this reading with an advice card. Let's see what the universe has to say about this whole situation, because I know it is probably tough trying to make that decision, especially when it has to do with like your loved ones are involved, you know? <clears throat> yeah, this is a tough situation. Like if I were in, if I were in your situation, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Like I get now I understand the indecisiveness here, like the anxiety involved. Like All right, let's one more animal card. Let's see. What does the universe have for Libra about this whole situation? I want to know universe. What do you have to say to Libra about this situation? This one's tough. This is probably the toughest read I've done yet. Just because I know, I know that like, even though, I mean, I just know that feeling, that feeling of like, I don't want to do this, but I feel like I have to do this. <sighs> Let's see. Beautiful cat spirit, cat spirit, claim your independence. Claim your independence. What does that mean? What am I getting from this? So in regards to this situation, <clears throat> it's saying you got to hold your own. You got to be strong because as much as it hurts, you got to do what you got to do, right? You got to do what you got to do to provide for your family. Look at this. You see that heart on its neck? It's staying strong, the cat is staying strong. And the cat is looking back without any remorse or not necessarily remorse, but there's love there. You see the heart? There's love. That cat is holding on to that love and saying, you know what? I love you and, I, and I, I'm gonna do whatever I have to for us. Look at that. Wow. Freaking beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Oh. Yeah, Libra, I just see you. I, I want to say taking one for the team. As corny as that sounds, that's just what comes to mind. <clears throat> but I see you making the decision to take this opportunity and provide and be the be the protector look at this cat again like look at its wings like this cat is an angel this cat is an angel very beautiful well libra that's uh all i have for you today 
Um, this reading, I feel like it went really well, it went very smooth. Um, it was very intense, like I felt your emotion, but like, did you feel that calm at the end? You know, when the cat spirit came up? I, I guess it's just, you know, that's just the message here is like, knowing that, that feeling of like, I got this, you know, I got this. I love you, um, but I have to. I have to do what I have to do. Uh, I kind of. I kind of think of Edward Cullen from Twilight. I'm. I don't know why, but he's just like. He's like a protector. Like he's. He's. I don't know. Anyways, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me um, today. I hope this reading really resonated with you. Um, if it did, go ahead and give me a like down below and subscribe for me. I already said that, but until next time, bye.